Good morning, gentlemen. How are you doing today? Good, thank, thank you. you. How are you? I'm great. Greetings from Toronto, Canada, where you guys just were. And I was at that wonderful premiere. I had so much fun. Uh, Joe, did you ever think that you would go back into medieval times and have such a good time? I hoped so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope so. Yeah. I mean, uh, it was it was a blast. Being a part of a Lena Dunham project uh, in a medieval world was a real um, singular experience. And um, and it was fantastic. I mean, right from reading the script, uh, it had such a kind of unique voice to it. And it was fun yeah. and, and modern and not a kind of stuffy period piece. And had such a wonderful array of characters and such a wonderful cast attached to it. Um, I was willing to jump into that medieval time and I'm glad I did. <laughs> yeah, and Andrew, for you, uh, listen, we've spoke, spoken many times over the years at TIFF. It's yes. so great to see you. Lovely to see and you. I, yeah, and I gotta say, uh, Lord Rollo, I mean, you know, he's not a bad guy. He's gotta do what he's gotta do. You know, how much fun did exactly you have right. playing this? Yeah, I mean, he, is he a bad dad? No, he loves his daughter. But come on, really? Marrying her off to these creeps? Come on, seriously? Well, that's the thing. Uh, one of the things we had to talk about was that, you know, uh, marriage is something that we look at as a romantic arrangement these days. But before, of course, it was a business arrangement. You you marry your family off to uh, the, the richest dude possible. Um, but yeah, I will concede that some of them are a little bit a little bit, a little bit creepy. Um, some of them are real, um, real turnips. But but um, the the uh, the. Um, the great thing about uh, Lena is that she's always going to protect the, both the female characters as yes. well as the as as the male ones, and so that's why we're very lucky. She wants to our character to be as vulnerable and sort of messed up as as and as as strong essentially as the as the female ones. Absolutely, and I think you can add uh, now sword fighting to your resume. How much fun was well, that? Bad sword, bad sword fighting. I can uh, once again add to my resume. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. fun to watch that scene. Uh, Joe, we got to talk about uh, your young co-star, Bella. My God, this girl is a revelation. She's like an old soul. She is so wonderful. How much, you know, what was it like to work with this young girl who admired her Uncle George so much? She's amazing, yeah. She is incredible. I think she's been doing it a long time. I mean, since she was a toddler. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, right. She... she <laughs> yeah. started a long time ago but she um she's incredible she's she's a real force and is conducts herself just so amazingly on set it's such a good person and so kind and generous and playful and uh and just like fearless as as a performer on every take she wants to jump in and try something new and isn't afraid to mess up or improvise and see what happens so I feel like I learned a lot from watching her yeah. um she's uh she's really special yeah, Andrew, how about you? Oh, I think she's extraordinary. Of course, all of our stuff is sort of kind of antagonistic. And uh, yes. you need to have chemistry. You talk a lot about, people talk a lot about romantic chemistry, but you need to have chemistry with every actor. And um, uh, yeah, she's she's um, really sensational. You know, we had our world premiere in Toronto and, uh, yes. um, uh, you know, with 1,500 people we were in, uh, in, uh, in, that were in the cinema. It was just incredible to just see them laugh and uh, fall in love with her and it was it was really what really wonderful yeah we all did now of course birdie is a little bit mischievous at her age so joe uh tell me about your most mischievous uh thing you did at that age come on fess up um, <laughs> <laughs> i probably can't to be honest um tell you everything um were you a mischievous sort i was quite mischievous. Were you? Were you? yeah but lo lots of like harmless pranks, you know, like with friends running around doing stupid things. Um, yeah. Nothing too um, illegal. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, Andrew. How about you? You, I um, for sure think you were a mischievous lad. Yeah, I probably was mischievous. Like I was kind of into like those tricks that never really work. You know, when you want to like balance a bucket of water on the back of a yeah, door. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. never really, it was too, it was too hard to... <laughs> Or put, but it was I mean, just so fun trying. It's so fun trying. Or like all the cling film stuff or throwing water bombs like through people's windows. And... Through, through, exactly, yeah. <laughs> or rocks. Or rocks. <laughs> um, just but, fun, yeah. silly things. Yeah. The biggest the biggest challenge is to is to is to keep mischievous, isn't it? A hundred percent. I totally agree with you. And I, I this and like I said, this is just so charming, this film. It's just delightful. 
And just to wrap it up, Andrew, do you ever get used to being called now you've gone from hot priest to hot medieval dad? Does this get easy to get used to these uh, titles? <laughs> Not really. No, you don't really get used to them. Um, but, you know, there are worse things at sea. A hundred percent. Listen, you guys, yeah. thank you so much for your time. I just absolutely adored this film. Wonderful thank to always so talk much. to you both. And thank you. Have a great day. Lovely to Bye. see you. Take care. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, Bonnie.